guys, it's Nikki, and welcome to this week's new release video. I am so excited because it is finally the release of our clear foil. Um, I'm super pumped about these. I've been talking about them for a little while. Um, the designs have actually, on some of these, been done for quite a while. And then I did go in and add a ton of new stuff. And as you guys can see, I think we have 30 new things. There may be a little bit more. Sorry guys, FedEx just dropped off a bunch of paper. Um, I have, sorry, I'm messing with the lights a bit. I have ordered um, a ridiculous amount of paper this week between clear glossy, regular glossy, and then the premium matte. And that's actually the premium matte that just showed up. Um, Clear will be here in a couple of days, and then I think Glossy should be here tomorrow. I was trying to get these to where you guys are gonna be able to see the foiling the best, but it's always such a struggle with the lighting in here. So if I turn these lights all the way off, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna turn them back on at least just a bit. It may be kind of hard to see these. I am gonna zoom in a little bit so that you guys can kind of like really see what's going on. This is how bright this lighting gets. So I'm gonna keep it kind of like halfway. Um, like I said, I'm gonna zoom just a bit. Wrong way, there we go. Uh, and I'm just gonna take the stack, put it to the left and pull a sheet at a time. I'm gonna try to make this video not a million years long. Um, but I mean, I'll do my best. So the first few things that I've got here are some overlays. Um, I wasn't gonna do any overlays and then I had this thought in my mind for snowflakes and I had to. Um, so I did a couple, we will probably continue to do some more. I'm gonna have to adjust the lights a bit so that I'm not casting an awful shadow. Um, so the first one that we have here is the snowflake overlay. And I'm not gonna be able to get this foil to really show at all, apparently. Um, so I wanted to do two boxes with large snowflakes and then the overlay that has the falling snow. Is that better? Yeah, there we go. Um, I wanted to do the falling snow, which is very similar to our cozy kit. Also, if you're in the Facebook group, you may have already heard me talk about this. Some of our kits from now on um, may be offered without any foil. If it's something where we just kind of do um, an overlay like cozy hat or even like this is the minimalist overlay if we're doing something on a photo kit that would just have like these lines anyway i may offer the kit without foil and then i will offer like a bundle option to pick these up with it so that you could lay it over top it would make it a little bit easier on us and then also i know there are some people who do not want foil so then they could pick the kit up with no foil if they wanted i'm just kind of looking into that right now i don't know if it's going to happen um, majority of the group did like that idea, but I don't know how to do it and keep the price the same because it is extra paper. Um, not only the full boxes, but then the bottom washi as well. So, like I said, this is the snowflake overlay. I am obsessed with these. I love the idea of an overlay and I wanted to go ahead and say, I will also be coming out with bottom washi overlays um, that will work in your planner. So. Here is the snowflakes. Like I said, this one is called minimalist. Um, and this one, like I said, this is just super simple. When we do photo kits, this is generally what I would lay over top of it. Um, and then we also will have this one, which is stars. And I wanted to keep the overlays pretty simple. Um, if you guys want more intricate detailed ones, we can definitely do that. But in my mind, when I would want to use an overlay, I would want something a little bit more simple. So I am having a pretty hard time with showing the foiling here, but I've got the lights turned down pretty low. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Okay. I'm having a really hard time getting the camera to pick up on it or to focus either. Uh, so these two are done in silver. That is the one that I normally have the hardest time getting the foiling to show up on camera. This one is rose gold, which is why it's a little bit easier to see. And then I do also have one in light gold over here for the minimalist. Um, just We wanna do a couple of test prints. Most of these are already printed. The way that we're gonna do these is have them cut and then we will foil them a couple of times a week to send out in orders. Um, but yeah, so those are the overlays for this week. Also, if you're not part of the Facebook group, I did put an album up for suggestions for any kind of clear foiled stickers you guys would want because I was getting a ton of requests for scripts. 
um, and some icons and other things as well and it's easier for me to have all of that in one place that I can go in and look at it. So if you have any requests for anything like that, make sure to check out the Facebook group. Also, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, we are participating in the Ultimate Planner Sale Labor Day Sale. Um, that starts tomorrow morning. All that information is on Ultimate Planner Sales Instagram and website, their Facebook group, my Facebook group, our Instagram, all over the place. Uh, we will be doing 20% off through Monday and I will be sending out that code in our newsletter and it will also be posted all over Instagram, Facebook, all that. So the second thing that I've got are the foiled date numbers. These were really heavily requested so I wanted to make sure to get these done. I do wanna say, and I don't know if it's gonna pick up, um, but these are not circles. Come on, focus. There we go. So these are not circles. If you can see, they're actually cut into squares. That just makes it easier for us to cut. Um, it's a lot faster. Cutting these as circles would take a ton more time. Um, and they're just the same as our regular ones uh, from the kits, but they are cut into that square instead of a circle. Not that it really matters since the background is a clear background. Um, but yeah, so you get two sets here, and I just did that because it was a little bit easier to fit them. We could have cut it in half, but I feel like most people that are wanting these aren't gonna care to get two sets instead of one. Also, I should mention all of these sheets are going to be $4.25. Um, they are all essentially the same size. There's like a like centimeter of difference on some of these sheets, but for the most part, they are all the same size. So. Foil date covers. Um, and also we will have all the foil options available. We're gonna start with just light gold, normal gold, rose gold, and silver. And then I will be adding others in as I'm able to test those. I've got a few shades of pink, a few shades of blue. Um, hollow, which we seem to have a lot of issues with, but I am gonna test that on this paper to see how it does. If it does okay, then we'll offer hollow as well. So the next thing that I've got here are the foiled bow paper clips. So this is essentially the same thing that we have in our bow samplers or that come on the actual samplers sometimes. If I can get it to focus, there we go. So yeah, these are cut out just to the shape of the bow. And I thought these were really cute. Um, if you watched my plan with me the other day, come on, focus. Anyway, if you watched my plan with me the other day, I used quite a few of these and I wanted to include them. I thought they were just the cutest thing ever. So we will have those. And then I did do our regular bows as well. So these are just the regular bows that we had been offering with a different colored background. But again, they're clear so you can put them over anything. Um, I use these in the plan with me as well. And these are done on silver. So it's a bit difficult to see the foiling. These are actually both on silver. I think I'm getting it though. Maybe. It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, the next thing that I've got are the bow headers. Um, so this was another thing that was pretty heavily requested. I also have another sheet of these for some reason. Um, anyway, these are pretty heavily requested. So I got these finished. I did some test prints. I actually used some of these in my plan with me as well. Um, but we are having a slight issue with them and I don't know that it really matters to anybody, but it bothers me. Let me zoom you guys really close and see if I can get this to focus on this. Things that bother me, but that probably aren't gonna bother anybody else. Um, right there, do you see that little bit right there that is, does not have foiling? Um, because we cut these and then foil them, that part where the actual cut line is, isn't foiling. Um, I think I may go in and redo the way that these are cut, but at the same time, when you actually peel up the sticker, let me peel one here. Yeah, see, that part's not gonna be part of it because it's cut to the side. <laughs> um, and I may just go ahead and leave them. I'm gonna zoom you guys back out because like I said, I don't think anybody else is gonna be bothered by it. Um, it won't be on the sticker once the sticker is off of the sheet. It's just something that bothers me because I feel like everything needs to look completely perfect. Um, but I have to get over it just a little bit because with foil, it is so hard to get everything just 100% perfect all of the time. There's always gonna be some minor like imperfections, inconsistencies with foiling. So I may just keep these the way that they are. Um, I may try a different way of cutting them and see if that helps, if it's not something that's gonna go crazy, but we do have some of these already stocked. Um, they've not been foiled yet, but they have been cut, and I don't particularly wanna redo any of those, but these are both the bow headers. That was really rambly for no reason. Uh, these are both done on rose gold, and I think it's a little bit difficult to tell, but I love how these look. Um, if you watched that plan with me, I put some over just the white paper, but then I also layered some over full boxes, and I think they just look so, so cute. 
So those will be available. And now we're gonna get into the scripts. Um, I'm actually gonna start, yeah, I guess I'll start with the regular scripts. And I'm gonna try to get through these kind of quickly because I, I don't know how much time I really need to spend talking about the scripts. Um, so let me zoom you guys a bit. Okay, so a lot of these had already been designed. We were gonna release these a couple of months ago, but they would not foil properly on glossy. I had a lot of problems. Um, on this paper, they foil great, so that worked out really well. Um, so we've got a ton. The first one that's here is appointment. Um, all of these are cut as close to 1.5 inches as possible. So on a few of them, it may be like 1.495. Um, they're not off by much if they are off of 1.5. And that's just because of the spacing between the script and everything. But I did get it as close as possible. Um, so the first one that we have here is appointment. This one is rose gold. Um, we have Bureau Clock. This one I did for Bianca, one of the PR girls. She really wanted something for beer. I'm also gonna do a like sampler sheet for beer, which I'll show you guys a, a sampler sheet in just a second. Um, so this one is light gold. And again, you can pick your own foil with these. Um, it's not gonna be just the ones that I've got here. These are all just test prints. So the next one is Day Off. Also, the number of scripts on each of these, as you can see, is different. It just depends on how much space I was able uh, to fit things. Um, they are all the same width across because I wanted them to be able to fit across the Erin Condren, uh, but like with the Y and stuff, or just the amount of letters even, I'm not able to fit the same amount of each one on each sheet. Um, anyway, so day off, we have date night, girls night, I'm so obsessed with these. Like, I love using these. Um, happy mail, meal prep, sleep in, and then some of these are done just a bit different where the um, shop name is at the top instead of the side. And that was because of the way that like this P comes down really low. Um, I was able to get more room doing it that way than putting them side by side or putting, I should say, putting this part at the side. Um, Aaron's. Payday, we have Relax, I'm all kinds of back and forth here, uh, Groceries, Rescheduled, let me get these out of the way. So we have Rescheduled, and then we have um, Workout, Buy Stickers, which I thought was just necessary, um, and I'm going to try to come out with like bundles of stickers. I was talking to a couple of PR girls about this, like a pet bundle, a planner bundle, where you would get like five or six different sheets that all related to that one thing and you could pick the foil color in them. Um, let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. So we got buy stickers here, canceled, and work out again. Uh, these are both the same. I just, the way that some of these print, I've got uh, different things on different sheets. So for some reason we've got work out twice. So those were all of the just kind of regular scripts, I guess is what I want to call them. Um, they're all the same font, but then I did some that are a little bit different. So the first one that is like a larger script, these right here are not going to be that 1.5 inches. Um, and there's only three of them for right now, but these are all a little bit different. Uh, they will not fit across. These two right here, date night and girls night are actually the exact same thing that are in our kits. Um, so they're just a much larger script, but I thought for people who use like traveler's notebooks, B6, pocket, all of that, and aren't using inserts that are necessarily the same as the Erin Condren vertical, or even if you are, they'll still fit, but they're just not gonna stretch that whole full box. I thought these were super cute. Uh, so there's Girls' Night here, and this one does have the wine glass, the same as our kit, or what's in our kit. And then we've got Date Night that has the hearts, which is the same thing that's in the kit. Um, and then I wanted to do these. These just say Frye. I actually think Frye is in our kits though. These might just be a bit bigger. So those are called icon scripts. Um, at least these two are. I had to kind of change wording as far as the listings go just so that I don't get confused when I'm packaging orders. Um, and then the last thing that I've got, these are called samplers. So these have some icons and some scripts on them. 
Uh, so I did one that's kind of like a me time, one that's a cleaning, a workout, and then a pet related one. So I'm going to get started with the me time. So you have the wine glasses up top and then you've got the girl in the face mask, which is just an icon that's in our kits. Um, and then it goes back and forth between me time and relax for the scripts. I personally really like them done this way. I think it just depends on the way that you plan. Um, but for me personally, I would rather have kind of like a mix of stuff to pull from instead of having to have multiple sheets. So you guys let me know down below. Do you prefer just the scripts on a page or do you prefer this kind of a like sampler that has it kind of mixed? Um, we'll probably continue to do both, but these were like a last minute thing that I did today, whereas I've had those scripts done for a long time and I've got a list a mile long of stuff to do that is clear foil. Um, I was just trying to get done what I thought we could get through this week. So I, th I thought we could add these four and still be okay. So this is called the me time sampler. The next one that I've got is the cleaning sampler. So you've got some trash cans, some spray bottles, some brooms, and then just some clean scripts. Um, like I said, I think there's so many things that could be done on this clear foil and there's so many things that could be done for cleaning like dishes, laundry, everything like that. And that's why I kind of want to do the whole bundle thing instead of just doing, um, individual sheets. We would have a, like a cleaning bundle that had a bunch of the icons, a ton of different scripts for cleaning. Um, but I just, I need to figure out first if there's any kind of like want for that. Uh, the PR girls liked the idea. I need to run it by the Facebook group and I've mentioned it here. So the next one is workout. So we have some kettlebells up top. These are just the ones from our kits and then workout underneath. This is another thing that I feel like you could get endless amounts of scripts and icons for like gym time and workout and all of that. And then the last one that we have got is the pet sheet, uh, the pet sampler. So I did a bunch of paw prints and then we've got vet appointment, grooming, flea meds, and kennel. Um, Catherine, one of my PR girls, immediately gave me a list of like 10 other things that she wanted for pet related. So I think the whole pet bundle thing could be another thing that we could do. Um, but like I said, if you have any suggestions, please go over to the Facebook group and drop them in that album just so that I'm able to keep track of everything and I can kind of work off of a list that I'm not going to lose. Um, I do have my own personal list, but if I keep typing in everything that everybody wants onto that, I will never get through it. Um, plus this way I can see if multiple people want the same thing. So that is the last one of these sheets. Uh, so I hope you guys love these. I am just absolutely obsessed with them. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel. Let me know what's your favorite. Uh, these will be available tomorrow morning when the sale starts. It is 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do believe. Um, check Ultimate Planner Sale though and make sure, but I'm pretty sure it's 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that coupon will be available in our group, in their group. Um, Instagram and I will be sending the newsletter out at 9 a.m. as well, which I will include it there uh, But yeah, so I hope you guys love the new releases and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye guys